Hey guys, MKBHD here. As many of you know, I go by MKBHD on YouTube, which is my initials plus HD, because I happen to upload most of my videos in the highest quality, or one of the highest qualities that YouTube can allow, and that's high definition video. I actually upload in 720p HD. Now I know that a lot of you guys want to upload high definition videos, but don't necessarily have an HD camcorder. So today I'm going to be giving you a demonstration of a piece of software in the screencast form that will actually help you be able to fake HD. Now this isn't recommended at all really, but this is just to give you an idea of the way that you can get your videos to be in HD. The next episode of YouTube Tips, by the way, will cover cameras and of course HD camcorders. So yeah, thumbs up for that. All you're going to need for this quick tutorial is your original non-HD video and a piece of software that's available on Windows and Mac OS X and Linux called MPEG Stream Clip. And make sure that to be able to use this you have Apple's QuickTime installed. But yeah, MPEG Stream Clip is the name of the software that we're going to be using to do this. So here on our desktop we have a 640x480 video standard non-HD resolution. And if we blow this up to the full size of the 1280x720 player you can see that it would have those bars on the left and right hand side, the black bars. Of course that's no problem because this method that we're going to do will solve that. So making sure you have your handy dandy MPEG stream clip installed, go ahead and open it up and follow these instructions. In the software go to file, open file, and locate that movie that you shot in 640x480. When you open it up you'll be able to move right on through it and see that that is in fact the video that you shot. Now the following steps you can alter to your own preference, but we can go to File, Export to QuickTime, and begin messing with these settings here. We're going to export to H.264 and drag quality all the way up to 100%. Be sure to insert the frame rate that you shot the video at, which is 60 here, and select 1280 by 720 or 720p over on the left hand side. When you're done, you just hit Make Movie, name your export, and hit the Save button and you will begin to start your export of your new stretched 720p video. So yeah, as you can see, using this type of video stretching kind of gives it a sort of a wide appearance to it. It's not really recommended, like I said, which is why I'll be giving you guys a lot of camera tips and especially camera buying guide tips to help you guys avoid having to use the solution. But this definitely works a lot better with screencasts where you can't usually tell when a video has been stretched or not. That's better. So that's about it guys for this MKBHD video. In the next video, which is YouTube tips episode, we'll be covering what kind of equipment you'll use to use to shoot actual true HD video. The methods I showed you earlier are really basically for screencasters or for those who don't mind the slight distortion of stretching a 4x3 video to widescreen. So until next time, MKBHD, signing out. Peace.